Where in the world am I today? You'll never guess. Ah, oh, Nashville, Tennessee, walking music row. Ho, ho, ho. The hell am I doing here? I don't know, that's a good question. I'll tell you more about it another time. Well, later on this week. So, so the, the reason why I want to chirp in today quickly is I am in Nashville. I am in the heart of Tennessee. How y'all doing? Nashville, Tennessee. Right? It's pretty cool, right? It's all bars, all these, uh, all these country music bars. I hate country music. <laughs> Bunch of crybabies. But anyway, so I was watching, let's, I just want to talk about Bernie Sanders for a second. I know, I know. The big socialist, but what a talk. Bernie Sanders went full throat. I'll tell you what he did. I'll tell you what I, what I liked about it. You should definitely watch it. I'll tell you what I liked about it, and I'll tell you what, what I didn't like about it. Let's start off with what, what I didn't like about it. What I didn't like about what Bernie Sanders said in his um, talk, bill, he, he billed it as the Economic Bill of Rights. Oh, so sweet, right? He wanted to define democratic socialism as to eliminate the smear of socialism. Right? Separate himself from the pack. It was a brilliant talk, brilliant idea. Right? And I'll tell you where he failed. Right? First he failed. He, it was an overall success. But he fails in this respect because he, he goes into the whole racism and, and xenophobia and homophobia and, and Trump's a racist and a bigot. It, it's, not, it's not only the wrong direction to go in, but it's just factually incorrect. Right? It shows a. It shows either one of two things. It either shows that you have no feel for what's going on in America right now, right, or you're just playing politics and you're trying to you're trying to win some kind of colored vote, Bernie. Right, and that's where that's where I, I understand a lot of people would just shut the talk off and not hear the the real message. Right, which is income and wealth inequality. Right, so he, he he did that, right, and not a single mention of election fraud. Nothing, nada, not one word, Bernie Sanders about election fraud, how you were humiliated and belittled, and 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 your people were dissed, and you didn't fight for yourself. No, no mention of any of that. But here's the spectacular thing about this talk. I mean, just unequivocally, he went, when he got to about 20, 25 minutes, he went into the, the analogy and parallels between what he's trying to do, FDR and Truman, the era of the Great New Deal, the New Deal for America. Uh, and he painted that as a as a, uh, a, a, a way to go in terms of politics. But he also pointed out how policies like Medicaid and, and Social Security and all of these, these great social programs for the people were smeared vigorously by the 1%, even at that time. And they still are now. Right? So I think he did a, a spectacular job at defining what he calls democratic socialism, that it's not the communism and the, the, the oppressive, you know, uh, uh, Russia from the 1940s Cold War, right? But rather a, a social democracy, right? He did a great job of that. But what, what he did exceptionally was he uses, he always uses this phrase that um, we have in this country socialism for the rich, and rugged individualism for everyone else, right? And that the, you know, I know people like to say, oh, the free stuff. It's all about free stuff. Oh, that's all you guys want is free stuff, right? Socialist, so free stuff. My, my takeaway when I watched it is what I'm trying to convey right now. I'm a little tired, so bear with me. It's a long flight. <laughs> Not really. 
but um, is that this country must go in that direction. That without a economic new deal, the 1%, the oligarchy, the monopoly, will continue to choke this country dry. And, and, and the, the fundamental problem with Bernie Sanders at this point is that he sees, he sees racism and, and, and xenophobia, fear of people that you don't know, and, and um, homophobia, whatever other kinds of phobia, women, I don't know, whatever it is that the, the, the psycho left still believes that the middle of the country believes in, right? which it's factually incorrect, right? But the problem is that that Bernie Sanders doesn't bridge the two together. He doesn't he doesn't see that once you eliminate the oligarchy and the monopoly, right? That is the fundamental problem. All of these other things, these these ideas of racism and 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 all the hating hate groups, hating one another, that sorts sorts of fizzle out because when you ask many people for example, in border border states, and say, why do you hate the Mexicans? I say, oh, they come here and they take our jobs. Huh? They take our jobs. They, 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 they take all the stuff from us. That's an economic problem. Huh? You know, why do you hate? Yeah, oh, blacks, yeah, they take all the, they get a affirmative action. They get in front of the line. They get the job. That's an economic problem. Huh? Why do you hate gays? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> But you see what I'm saying, right? You'll always have hate. Right? You'll always have those, those, those sorts of things, right? Let me cross the street because I'm, I'm not in my town. It's a nice place. I'm trying to feel it out right before I start talking about it. <laughs> Try to catch some new music tonight. I'll give these guys a plug. I don't know who the hell they are, but there's a pole. <laughs> there you go, man. Uh-oh, I hear some crybaby music. But you see what I'm trying to say with Bernie Sanders is that he doesn't, he doesn't get it, that the economic problem is the, is the quintessential problem. And that, that the xenophobia and xenophobia, to be compassionate for those people, not to hate them, right? Trump is not a racist. Trump's an idiot. And a, a you know, a, a, ideolo- a idealistic guy who sees you know, corporatism and, and Reaganomics as the way to go. The, supporting failing policies, not because he believes that's the way to go. It, he, he supports those policies because they support him and they're the foundation of his wealth. Right. So, so Bernie Sanders, if, if, if only he could... I, I don't know. I mean, I get it. I feel like I get it because I talk to you all day long and you guys talk to me back and and we talk to each other and everybody's got their feelers. You know, we are the 99% and we have our feelers on the ground. And to me, it appears obvious that people hate because of missed opportunity and, 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 and financial oppression, right? They, chicks on, on, on skateboards, <laughs> motorized skateboards. I, I think I like this place. Uh, they, they, it's, it's an, it is an economic problem. It always has been an economic problem. And it always will be an economic problem. That's not going to change. But when you, when you call it racism, and, and, and you're, you're creating the division, the separation of people, when you do that, keep the focus on the enemy. The enemy is the corporate elite. Uh, you know, there's not many of them, right? It's only 1% of the population. Right? And then at the top of that heap, there's only maybe, I don't know, in my, in my estimation, 500 or 1,000 billionaires that control the game, that control the board. Look, I, I've been around billionaires. I've been around millionaires. I've been in their homes. I've sat, you know, I've been at the, you know, at, at, you know, at, at all these ex, ex, amazing events in Manhattan, you know, hipster, hipster shit, right? What's up, man? I'm doing a video right now. I'm very famous. What's your name? Okay. What do you want? What's our YouTube channel? What are you trying to sell me? We're trying to raise money from our basketball team. Oh man, I don't. I, I really, 
I really wish I could help you guys out right now, but I'm so, making a video right now. So what what's your pitch your pitch your pitch your thing, man? What's you want to talk? Channel? It's a YouTube channel, yeah. What is it? Oh, it's uh it's me. I'm my name is Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, I talk about politics. You guys you guys aren't old enough to vote, so it's really So so are we on Music Row? Tell me about it, man. What's up on Music Row? Ooh, I'm sorry, man. I stepped on your shit. Tell me about Music Row, man. You like country music? Yeah. I can't stand yeah. that. Yeah. I like rap yeah. music. You like rap music? Yes, sir. Who's your favorite rap artist? Hmm? Who's your favorite, who's your favorite rap artist? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, you know rap, but you don't know rap. Yeah. What do you like? Like the old stuff? Like uh, Jay-Z? Right. No. No, like Jay-Z? Quando Royal. Quando Royal? Right. How about you? NLE Chapel. All right, I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Hey, thanks, guys, man. I gotta, I gotta keep working, man. What's but uh, it's uh, my name is Marcus Conti. I, I, it's if you look it up, you'll find me. So how you spell your name? M A R C U S C O N T E. All right, let me go, man. Let me work. So as I was saying before, I met these fine, before I met these fine gentlemen. They're laughing at me. I'm laughing at them. Laughing at me. Oh, what's up, man? You're here for, I'm, 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 I'm filming a YouTube channel. Right. Marcus Conti, man. What's up, man? I'm, I just landed in, What's up, where the hell are we? What's up, what are you talking about, about right now. Nashville, Tennessee, Midtown, you guys, you guys are from, from Nashville? You're just talking no. about why for like a certain subject? Yeah, I was just talking about, uh, po it's mostly a politics uh, station. I was just talking about Bernie Sanders delivered this um, talk today, uh, attacking, you know, Monopoly and, uh, and oligarchy. What do you think about any of that? Is it? And even make any sense? An oligarchy? Yeah, like rich people stealing all the money. I think any human would like to hold power, and power is important. But I don't know. We all have a little selfishness in us. Right. It's redistributed. It's being hoarded. It's being hoarded. Yeah. By all Who's the hoarding? It's the billionaires. The the goddamn billionaires, the man. Goddamn billionaires. So <laughs> so you guys smell like a brewery, by the way. <laughs> I just I get I, I smell like a brewery. Too. Chattanooga, yeah. shout out. Shout shout out out. Chattanooga. Oh so, so this is this is this is Music Row, right? Is that what it is? Basically, yeah, well, well, it's, uh, oh, man, right here's Broadway, is right really there is Division. Yeah, really we're in Midtown Nashville. Nashville right now. Yeah, Music Row is right past like that wall blocks. right there. You don't like country music? You a country music fan? I appreciate all sorts of rhythm and blues yeah. and anything. People are just no. emitting emotion through sound. Right, you got it, man. You got it. I, I mean, I, I grew up on kind of like uh, classic rock, but then you know folk music and metal and stuff you. please do you think holding this in your hand <laughs> and a and broadcasting your image gives you a certain power to connect with people this, this or do you is, think or do you think you would do it this regardless is a, of the platform this is my this is my medium this is my this Good. is an extension an artist. this is an extension so of my penis right here oh, yeah. you see this I it's like that. a second penis. It really is. It's a. It really it's is. A, I personally only have one, and it gives me a lot of power, and my ego is a great source of confidence. Yeah, I, I want to. I'll answer your question. I do this because uh, I'm searching for truth in some way, and um, I think that the political system is very corrupt. I'm not on a soapbox. I'm just, you know, you asked me the question, uh, no. and I'm, I'm more interested in you guys. But, but I think that the system is very corrupt, and. Um, I was I was help I was hopeful that Trump could come in and shake it up a little bit, but it seems he that he 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 it was right he did expose it and, but and he called out the fake you know fake news and all that stuff. However, I feel that he doesn't have a an economic plan an economic way out of the vast income and wealth inequality, and that's what I think people that watch this channel definitely you know want to know about. What do you guys What do you guys do? Are you musicians? Uh, I work here, actually. I think all three of us actually work here. But yeah, I play music. Uh, uh, he does not play music, and neither does he. But I'm not used to. I have one of these. Uh, yeah, it's a joystick. It's a uh, yeah, plug your band, man. Let's get a couple, uh, couple of thousand. Man, right now I'm just doing solo stuff. My name's Jacob Welty. Hit me up. What about the sheeps? The, the sheeps are no longer oh, actually. Yeah. The sheeps? There's the, everybody's update. Sheeps are no yeah, longer. Sheeps. No more sheeps. <laughs> I, I was in a band called Barney Rubble and the Cunt Stubble. You ever oh, heard of it? Yeah. What'd you play? I was a singer. 
Oh, that's yeah. right. You guys look good I have for to go home to my wife. Let me get your channel. I don't think personal interest will ever go away. I don't know who would be up to the president's job. Yeah. I don't think that will ever go away. I think we'd go in a right direction, but never to a good terminal end, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What's your good channel? talking. To you? It's uh, MarcusConti.com. Hold on. Cool, man. How yeah. do you spell Conti? C-O-N-T-E. Marcus. M-A-R-C-U-S. C-O-N-T-E. Just hit it on YouTube. Okay, you'll find it. Out. I'm a YouTuber. I like uh, that shit. One, two words. C O N T E. Yes. Bring me that shit, bro. Ah, man. Hold on. I want to see. I want to like see. C O N T E. E. That's a Y. C O N T E. <laughs> C O N T E. Yeah. I got you, man. Go, go on YouTube. Go on YouTube. Guys, cool. Bring nice it up. running into you. All right. I good talking to you guys. Too. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Have a good one, bro. You, you too, guys. Wow. I mean, all kinds of interesting people. Those kids were hitting me up. I had to get rid of them. <laughs> but uh, those are cool guys, right? So that's where we're at, man. Right? Real America. We're touching down on America right here. And it landed in America. Uh, guys just coming out of nowhere. I wanted to talk. I was going to get on one of these scooters, but... You see this shit? This is how, this is how 50-year-old people break your... You get on this thing and you break your fucking back, man. <laughs> if you fall. So anyway, it was a good, it was a good talk, Bernie Sanders, right? At those black guys, those young black kids, that was interesting, right? Those young kids, they don't, they, did they see me as some, some white guy ready to get, you know, laughing at me like some, some fool? I, I don't know what their game is. Who knows? I'm from New York. You, you're not going <laughs> to, kids are going to try to shake me down for a couple of dollars and fuck you. Right? Or those drunken white guys, right? right? I don't know, man. Keep searching for the truth, right? But I think that, you know, I, I liked it. I mean, I think, I think it was inspiring to see Sanders, although he, he has his shortcomings are the ones I pointed out, which he doesn't connect the two dots. He doesn't see that the oligarchy is the only problem and the rest of it will fix itself, right? People don't fight when there's, you know, five loaves of bread, bread on the table. People don't fight for that bread because right? there's plenty to go around. It's when you, it's when you, when you limit it. When there's not enough of it, that's when people stop fighting. Right? You know what I'm saying? Ah. Uh, so, anyway. Anyway. It's a good first video in Nashville, Tennessee. Reporting live from Nashville, Tennessee. I got all the way through the town without getting my ass kicked. Marcus Conti reporting.